back to the corners. That's what T suppressor cells do. T suppressor cells are cells, as soon as our immune system is fighting something, we have these cytotoxic T cells, these natural killer cells, our B cells making antibodies. These cells are out there fighting a virus. You know, say we got the, uh, the flu. So they're fighting that virus, going, going, going. It kills the virus. Well, those immune cells are going, okay, what do I attack next? <laughs> they're going, they're ready to go, they're fired up. You ever get like adrenaline flowing in you? And you're just yeah. like, you know, that, that's like our immune system. It gets that adrenaline flowing, and it's going to look at what it can attack next. It may turn and attack something like the colon and the digestive system. It may attack our thyroid and be called something like Hashimoto's. Uh, it can be attack our nervous system and be multiple sclerosis. It can attack the cartilage in your joints and be rheumatoid arthritis. Okay? But all these conditions, these different autoimmune conditions, are because our immune system has turned on itself. Well, it could be a dysfunction in these T suppressor cells of our body that didn't suppress, come in like the, the referee and suppress the immune system and say, hey, the fight's over. Calm down. All right? So when we look at something like Enforce, Enforce, Enforce works to boost the immune system over 400 studies to prove, to show what it does, how effective it is. And we're not talking about uh, some unnamed university. We have them listed down over here on the bottom, a lot of the, the main places, but things like Sloan Kettering and MD Anderson, uh, they're specialized in the, in the United States. They're either, uh, located in the U.S. They aren't uh, like in some small country we've never heard of. Stuff like that. These are in the U.S. They are the biggest uh, researchers of catastrophic type illnesses. Okay, and they've done tremendous number of research studies on this and show that it works. When I was first introduced to Enforce, I've been inter introduced to a lot of different immune products. A lot of different people want to me to take different uh, immune products and things like that. I've had hundreds and hundreds of people, oh, you're doing this and you do this with the immune system, you've got to have this product, you've got to do this, yeah. especially by different network marketing businesses and things <laughs> like that, they're bombarded, right? I always say, show me the research, show me the research, and you know what? Nobody can ever show me the research, never have I ever had somebody of the hundreds of people who have come to me tell me how great their product is, been able to show me the research, because me, as a practitioner in dealing with people that are extremely ill, okay, I want to know what I am doing to that person. All right. I'm going to give one example of a substance. You know, some of the things that I treat is, is diabetes. All right. And in people that have diabetes, there's all kinds of different out there. And there's, you know, you go into the different vitamin stores and different blood sugar regulation controls and things like that. I'm going to take one component because it's got a lot of news lately, uh, which is cinnamon. Okay? Cinnamon has been shown to lower blood sugar levels. Okay? But my question is, what is the mechanism behind it? Okay? We don't know. We don't know. Does it lower blood sugar? Yes. It lowers blood sugar. But you know what? So does medications uh, that are used by uh, medical doctors. Right? But what I know is many of the medications that are used to treat diabetes actually destroys the body in the process. Many of them, they activate cells in the pancreas uh, to make more insulin in these beta cells in the pancreas. And it fatigues these beta cells in the pancreas and people will end up needing to be on insulin injections the rest of their life. And that's the way the drugs work. So my question is, is cinnamon doing the same thing? I don't know. So I won't give it to somebody. I'll use something else that has a ton of research behind it that shows and tells me the mechanism of the way it works because now I know I'm doing something good for the person. Okay. When we look at people, um, you know, when I have people that come to me, there's two people that, that scare me, okay, <laughs> when, I, when I talk to patients when they come in. The patient that tells me, and just patients come to me for all different things, so, but the patient that comes in and will say to me, you know what, I never get sick. I haven't been sick in 10 years, okay? That patient scares me. The other patient that scares me is the patient that says, you know what, every month I'm sick. 
Every month I catch a cold, I got something, I'm sick every month. All right? Let's look at those two people. Okay? The person who never gets sick, ever, okay? One of the reasons why they never get sick is because their immune system is so suppressed that it doesn't function. So then they don't have any symptoms. Do you understand that when you get the flu, and when you get the flu, you get those body aches, and the fever comes on, you feel horrible, your joints ache. The reason why you feel that way is because there's cells in your body that are releasing a substance called interferon. And that interferon stimulates your immune system to fight whatever this virus that you have. All right? But it's the interferon that's being released that makes you feel horrible. It's your own immune system's activation that is making you feel bad. Okay? So if someone never gets sick, that means they never have the symptoms. It doesn't mean that they've never got a virus that came inside their body. Okay? Unless they live in a bubble. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. Right. And so if they never get sick, it means their immune system can't activate. Again, immune system dysfunction. If somebody is sick every month, over and over and over and over, that's another problem with an immune system that, okay, maybe this immune system is, is not suppressed so much that it, it can't activate, but it can activate, but it's not strong enough to ever resolve anything. And so the person's sick over and over and over again. All right? These are the people that can use something like Enforce, that can use that, that, that strengthening of their immune system. Some of the sickest people that came in, came in my office are people that have said, you know what, I'm coming in here because I want to fine tune, I think I'm the healthiest person on the face of this earth, I want to fine tune my health. So I want you to do a full workup on me and find out those areas, the things I can do where I can improve my health. And I go, okay, that's great. And you know, the person, I never get sick, I never, you know, nothing. So then we do a workup on them and we find out that their immune system is completely wiped out because of some type of chronic virus or mold or parasite infections or whatever it is that they have it's completely destroying them. But it's destroyed them behind, be, to such a point that they don't have symptoms mm. anymore. Mm. So it's another person that we may want to think of. Just because people are, don't have symptoms of being sick doesn't mean they can't benefit from something like Enforce. Mm. Okay. I take Enforce. I take nine capsules every day for just preventative measures. Mm. That's just me. My wife takes Enforce. And my five-year-old son, he, my, my, we have a, I have a brand new baby, two and a half months old. Beautiful little girl. Uh, and her and my wife started getting a little, little sniffle thing going on. My son started getting a little sniffle thing going on. And I said, this is just this last week. And I was like, all right, what am I going to do for my family had to make a choice here of what we're, what we're going to do. Uh, so with my son, generally in the past, we've used things like homeopathic sprays and things like that uh, to help him get these five years old, right? So, and then I thought to myself, what is the best thing I could do for him? And the first thing that comes to my mind is Enforce. So I said, all right, it's time that my five-year-old son learns how to swallow a capsule. Now, I think you can open them up too, and you can put them in there. But I said, all right, it's that time. And so just this last week, we taught him how to swallow capsules. My five-year-old son, he's taking it for us. Nice. All right. And now that will be part of his everyday routine. Okay. And so uh, younger than, than five, you can open up capsules. You can put it in applesauce. You can put it in oatmeal. You can do things like that and, and get it in there. But, so my, my entire family um, is on in force with my five-year-old son. And my two and a half uh, month old daughter via my wife who's breastfeeding. So she'll, she'll get it uh, in the breast milk. So, um, yeah. So, you know, what we want to do, I mean, when we look at kind of in, in summation here, when we look at the catastrophic type illnesses, when we look at people who are ill and they're going to their medical doctor and they're not getting results. And one thing I just want people to understand is when you go to your medical doctor and you get drugs, all right, drugs generally suppress symptoms. They don't take care of the underlying problem. 
whatever underlying problem 